everybody, it's Allie Edwards and welcome to a story 13 in my December Daily album for 2022. Today I am adding in a story that actually happened before uh, December and it's a story about attending a wreath making workshop that I did with the girls uh, just I think it was like a week before December started. It was something that I knew that I wanted to add in here but that I hadn't, just hadn't hadn't made sense yet in terms of the flow of my album. So today that's the story that I'm going to be telling. I printed out a very large picture uh, of the three of us. We had a friend there with us so that made it fun to take a photo like this. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to be, I'm going to have that as a full page. In my stash of stuff I have a heart. I think this is leftover from last year, maybe one of the mini kits. And I'm thinking of adding one of the canvas words on there and probably just stitching that. Maybe you know, potentially having that be the only thing that's on that page. Then I'm pretty sure I'm going to leave this guy in here as well. I don't think I'm going to do anything else on, on this one. I want to call it a him. On him. I think I'm just going to leave it in there unless I decide to do something on the back. So let's kind of see what happens. Um, obviously it's going to be a multi-page thing. I Then I added in a page protector here, which is one of the 2x2 um, pocket pages and I think that I'm going to trim it. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to trim it so that it's just two of them. So let's go ahead and just do that right now. Sometimes I like to do this when I know that I am not, I don't have necessarily content or you know something to put in to every one of these squares but I do have some so that's a, a fun way I think to do that. And then I have the number 13 out here, one of the chipboard pieces, so I might be adding that in as well. I haven't haven't decided on this for sure, but I have some two by two photos, so I can either uh, punch them in circles, which might be kind of fun to just have a little bit of something different, or I can just punch them into squares and add them in. What I will probably do is have three photos on this side and then three photos on this side, so they're back to back, and then I'll put some embellishments in the other pockets. And then for the last page in this particular story, I just have have one another photo that we took that I thought was really fun a uh, reflection in one of the the ornaments there and I printed it out so that it would have a little bit of a white border and then I'm gonna punch holes probably do that right away over on this other side this pattern paper here was in the Liz Tamanaha Paisley Press mini kit and I just thought it was a really cute one and I liked that it had space there in that white box for journaling or a photo or really whatever, you know, whatever you need in your own story, right? And I actually just added on journaling when I was doing the photo. So it talks a little bit about uh, what we were doing there. Super fun. Okay, so I'm going to get these holes, hole, holes punched and then figure out what we're going to do within the uh, two by two pockets here. This is one of those pages too that would work really good as a flip up if you had journaling and like a photo on top that you wanted to use. I'm pretty excited to just use it as it is, just like this. Probably adding a Avery index tab or something else along the edge. That looks cute on top of there. And then here is also where I wanna add in a few more. So the foundation that I'm looking at today, what I want you to think about is that this idea, full page photo, paired with the two by twos, paired with a page like this or a, uh, one of the pattern papers from one of the kits that had something to build on top of. This is space for lots of photos and words, I guess is what I'm trying to say, right? This could even be a flip up. Maybe you use this for Christmas day. Maybe you're somebody that has a lot of photos on Christmas day or another one of your uh, gatherings. So it's, I like to show a variety in my project. We have everything from a day like yesterday or a story like yesterday where there were no photos to a story like today where we're gonna have quite a few photos and you could have more as well. So let's, I think that I'm just gonna do these, trim these out. I just added them all together onto a four by six uh, canvas there and then printed them out. Let's see what they look like in here. We've got each, a photo of each person holding their wreath and then a couple of them working. The two by twos are just, are great for this kind of, this kind of storytelling here too, where there's you know a wider variety of photos, different angles, different ways to see 
the story that we were living. And it's just fun to see what everybody made there too. Definitely something that I would do again. Definitely something that I would love to go um, and do next year too. All right, so we can do this. So this guy, I am going to stitch this on here, and I think I'm just going to stitch it uh, similar to the way that I've been doing other things, just along the along the top here. Okay, so I went ahead and just did, you know, poked two little holes in there, and then brought it up from the back to the front, and then I'm going to use redline tape to hold the embroidery thread down uh, on the back as well as adhere it onto that big full page photo enlargement. Again, this little heart I found in my stash, in my December daily stash, I think it was probably from uh, last year or potentially the year before too when we had a um, some stitched hearts. All right, so adhering that down on there, then pulling back up the other side and then adding it directly onto the photo. I think that that felt like it was just the right amount of embellishment that I wanted on that one. I have pulled out my yesterday story, so my story number 12. I just used rolling adhesive around the outside edge to adhere my photo onto the back of yesterday's story. And then I'm using my uh, craft knife and metal ruler to trim off some of the extra along the edge, which just happens when you are building projects like this. All right, then I went ahead, used my We Are Memory Keepers, We Are Memory Keepers hole punch there to repunch my holes. Again, I use this one when, um, I use either this one or my six hole punch depending on what's needed and what I can fit uh, in there. And then I went ahead and I or reprinted the two by two photos of us from this event because I decided that I did want to see what it looked like if I used a two inch circle punch and then potentially added those into the page protector there, the divided page protector. And at this point in the process, I wasn't sure if I wanted extra pockets so that I could put you know some sequins in or another embellishment in the end I actually end up trimming off the the outside row of pockets and just having one row of four two by two pockets that ends up making the most sense for the story that I'm telling here uh, today and for the amount of things that I wanted to use so I'm going back in I'm pulling out those square two by twos I'm just kind of looking at placement again and pulling out that 13 and then I'm like okay am I gonna am I gonna trim this down what am I gonna do uh, I do end up trimming it down but I also pulled out uh, some word phrase stickers and was kind of playing with them on one of the wreaths that I punched out it was the big one that I uh, put together when we were at the event so I've got that on there I'm gonna end up putting a another one of those little mirrored glass stars from Tim Holtz. They're just tiny little things that I've had in my stash for a long time, uh, but they seem to work well as an embellishment. And so at this part in the process, I'm kind of just going, I'm still looking like, do I want to do something else in these pockets? So I often spend, you know, some, a certain amount of time trying to think through things like that, right? Like, you know, what do I actually want to do here? Asking myself, what do I actually want to do here? What do I actually want to add on to this page? And there's that little mirrored star just getting placed right on top, excuse me, of the word phrase sticker. I do use a glue, uh, glue pen to uh, adhere that one down. And uh, I think I'm, we're getting close to the point where I'm going to trim that, trim off the end there, the off the outside edge. There we go. Okay, good, good. I'm, I'm getting, I'm making a decision. So what I end up doing here is I put in three of the circle photos on the front and three on the back, and then I'm just going to slip the 13 inside the pocket. I had a little trouble with my filming on this one, so I'm just showing you how it ends, what it ends up looking like. There are the three circles on one side, three two-inch circles on one side, three on the other side. I stapled on one of the little sticker tabs, the tab joy. 
I stuck the chipboard 13 inside the pocket and I also stamped on the back of it and I'm not sure if you'll see it on here but you might be able to see it in a photo on the blog post. I just used one that said this is Christmas, one of the little stamps from one of our stamp sets this year and just repeat. There you go, you can see it over there in black on the back, just have something on the back. And then my journaling like you saw earlier got adhered directly onto that pattern paper and then I added the gold 13, those are numbers from the main kit. I love how this one turned out. I'm sorry that you didn't get to see the last little bits of me sticking them, placing them into the page protector there. That's pretty much uh, the, the final pieces of putting this one together. As always, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below and we'll see you back here tomorrow.